warmer weather is coming, which means it's that time again to replant flowers and gardens. That also means keeping all that hard work from becoming an all-you-can-eat buffet for deer. As part of a program to manage the deer population, the Iowa DNR has some tips for keeping the fruits of your labor intact. Use a fence. Deer typically won't go anywhere that looks enclosed. If you do go this route, first find out if you need a fence permit. Be diverse with your plants. If you have more than one species of plant, it makes it harder for deer to find what they like right away. Talk to garden professionals. They can help you pick out plants unappealing to deer. Try using deer repellent. Just keep in mind that this method works best if you apply it often. For more tips and information, go to icgov.org slash deer program. Do you have old or unwanted medication and needles that you're just not sure how to get rid of? Stop by our drug take back event at the East Side Recycling Center parking lot between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. this Saturday. If you're dropping off medication, make sure they're in the original bottles with the patient information blacked out or in blank Ziploc bags. For needles and sharps, make sure they're in a sturdy container with a tight lid, like a coffee tin or a laundry detergent bottle. Can't make it to the take back event on Saturday? No worries, most pharmacies will take back unused medication and needles year round. The City of Iowa City is proud to be one of the sponsors of a fashion activism show this Saturday. Brought to you by the Fashion Activist Institute at Wright House of Fashion, the show will start at 5 in the alleyway next to Buzz Salon. This fashion show is student-led to give aspiring fashion designers real-world experience in the industry. Plus, it's also a great way to show culture through design. There will be an exclusive pop-up shop following the show. We hope to see you there! In case you missed it, a federal court ruling had struck down the mask mandate for public transportation. This means Iowa City Transit riders are no longer required to wear a mask at this time. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time on Iowa City Update.